Hi everyone, my name is Nikki and I'm going to be making a video for you today with some dance moves. I created a few years ago a workshop in my uh, work with Burlesque and having the Burlesque Dance Company. I used to teach a workshop, not I used to teach, I still teach it, <laughs> just not during this time right now, a workshop called Discover Your Inner Bombshell. And it's a two hour workshop that uh, works with some Burlesque and Cabaret inspired moves and it's all about building your confidence, being really comfortable in your own skin, and you get to learn some things that help you with being slinky and saucy and sexy and whatever other adjective you want to add to that. So what I thought I would do is share a little bit about uh, the things that we do in that workshop in a few minutes and share it with you so that you can have some fun with it. So what we're going to do today is talk about posture and then we'll go with some poses and then you can run with it and have fun with it and make it your own and add it to whatever kind of dancing you do, um, even if it's just dancing in your own living room or kitchen, right? <laughs> so I'm going to be facing the mirror when I'm teaching it because I want to teach it like I would do it in a regular class. So away we go. Let's talk about posture, right? So posture is something that's very important because nobody wants to see this, right? If we're just walking around or like hanging out like this, that's kind of useless, right? Energy's going into the floor, nothing exciting is happening, nothing sexy and sassy about that at all. So what I want you to do is turn to the side, look at yourself in the mirror, and I want you to look at what happens to your spine, right? So if you can see, we would like to have a nice long straight spine. You're going to tuck in your pelvis and your butt just ever so slightly, and you're going to be nice and strong in your core. And the thing that I want you to think about the most and concentrate the most is where does your energy come from? So the way that I want you to think about it is making the energy come from this part of you, and it goes from here all the way out to all, all the way to your toes, out your toes, out your fingers, at the top of your head. So it's not just about dancing right here, it's actually being able to use all the energy of your whole body, which is very different from what I was showing you before. Right? So this is more strength, more openness, and I want you to think about what happens to your chin. So if you want to keep, um, if you want to look confident, right, and be confident, keep your chin up. It's going to be parallel to the ground. Now there are times that you would want to look down, I'm going to put them in quotes, look down for effect or for a move, but I want you to think about how you can look down without actually taking your chin all the way down. So you can look down just using your eyes and like the energy of it this way. Because if you do this, that kind of ruins the picture. So the other thing I want you to think about in general is what happens if you are having pictures, if you were to take a freeze frame of any move that you're doing, what does that look like? What are the lines that you are creating, right? So if you're even just standing sideways, let's say, let's take that for example. If somebody was taking taking a picture sideways, what's going to be most impressive, right? None of this, more of this, more of this, okay? So that's the one thing I want you to think about, and that, that will always feed everything that you're doing. So then the next thing we're gonna look at is some poses, because actually that's one of the things, the questions that I would get the most is, you know, like, how, what do I do with my hands? Where do I put my feet? What do I, where do I look? What do I do with my face? So I'm going to try and give you the standards that I, the ones that I use, kind of the, the vocabulary of the workshop and the things that, that I would um, have my performers do and I would do on stage as well, alright? So the very first one we're going to do is one of my favorites, you're going to do split weight. Now it's not just under your, your hips, it's a little bit past your hips, it's outside of your hips um, and outside of your shoulders, so it's kind of like one and a half, um, if you have straight down from your hips, you've done like half hip and half hip on the other side. Hopefully that makes sense. <laughs> so you've got that going and your feet are parallel, right? They're not turned out, they're not turned in, there's none of that. Be nice and parallel. And what you're going to do very easily, nice and simple, is put your hands on your hips, all right? Now, uh, some people in, end up going like this, up in here. I'm not looking for that. That's not the position that we're looking for. What I want you to feel for is your hip bones. Your hands are going to be on your hips, on those hip bones, and you're going to make a nice angle right here. And the angle is going to go along the forearm to the fingers, and you're going to have this, I would say it's probably like a 90 degree angle right here. Okay? 
And the thing that you want to think about is fingers too, right? Energy going all the way out to your fingers means the fingers are not going to be little claws or they're not going to be small over here. They're going to be with focus and take up space. Like that's the thing that I want you to think about is also taking up the space and being solid in that and not being afraid to take up that space, right? So here's that. And then if you look at my, my uh, thumbs, they're just hanging out right there. Okay, so yeah, think about this, and I like to, um, the people who have been in my workshops will tell you that I end up making a bunch of jokes, <laughs> just by nature of the material, but also how I am, but the way I like to think about it here is that you are pointing at the package, right, right here, and it's very tempting to end up relaxing here. But if you think about the things I was saying about the pictures, right? If you do that, it breaks that line. So we're making it solid and open. And then the other thing is, it's not just about like the line of your body, it's also about those spaces in between. So that's also another reason the arm is straight out to the side. It's not so much over here. No chicken wings, none of that. It's out over here. And I call this Wonder Woman because that's what it looks like and that's what it feels like. But little bit of an extra piece of information here. A bonus is this is actually considered a power pose. And if you're having a bad time or you're feeling a little unsteady or unsettled, just stand in this position for a few minutes and it is scientifically proven to do really good for you, to get you more grounded, to be more centered, to be more uh, powerful in power pose, right? So that's nice and easy, right? The Wonder Woman. Now, something that's super, super simple to do from here is just shift your weight from one side to the other. So if you have right side, you end up making this nice curve with your hip on this side, and you're just leaving the ribs behind, right? So you're not going like this all the way over, you're just shifting the weight of your hip, and you're just being able to like sit into it. And don't be shy, right? Like this is a cool thing about burlesque and those kinds of, that kind of dancing, is it's really about embracing what you have and just having a really good time with it and being strong with it, right? So don't be shy to show that off. Show off your hip, show off your booty, show off your elbow. Like, don't be afraid of that stuff. So then on the, the other side, we're just going to shift over that way and you can see what happens over there. Same thing, right? And now, just put your hands back on your hips and you can just leave them there. All right? So what I do when I do a shift to the right is I sit into it more and I accent it more. And you end up being able to do a little bit of an elbow to the back because you you get a, a more subtle, like, I don't want to say, more like a sultry line if you think about it, right? This is, elbows are straight bent like this. But if we go to the right, I have a little tilt to the right with my elbow and my shoulder. It kind of goes that way too in the accenting of that. So try that out for yourself, right? So we have one to this side and then we have one to this side. All right, and now the whole time, where is my head? It is not down, right? Don't look down, your feet are always gonna be there. That's one of the things that my, my teacher, Stella, when I was growing up in this little dancing that I did, she, that's the one thing she said, your feet are always gonna be there. There's no reason for you look, to look down at them. There's no reason for you to look down at them. So we're looking up, uh, we have our chin up, and the other thing to think about is, what is your face doing? <laughs> Right? I don't want to see no bewildered looks on your face. You can do a smile, that's totally great. One of my favorites is a smile, right? A nice smile, yeah. Just shift it over, shift it over. You can do kind of like a sneaky what's up kind of look, right? So that could be something like this. And that's a little bit of a, um, just a tiny bit of a difference on this one. And you can think about it in your mind, you're like, hmm, what's up? <laughs> You do a kissy face, if that's what you do, right? Have fun with that. Don't be afraid of that. Because that is that finishes up the whole picture. It's not just about what your body's doing. It has to do with what your face is doing, too. So we have Wonder Woman split weight on either side, nice and easy, right? From here, what I would like to show you, leave your legs right where they are. I'm going to give you some arms. And I do what I call mix and match arms. So I'm going to show you a few, and then you can mix and match them however you want. I am number one going to do the shogo arms, and what we have is high shogo arms. On the top, you have four, like 
I think it's probably more like a 60 degree angle on the top. If we're being technical and, you know, some people need that, but up here we go. The thing that you want to think about is you're almost holding up the ceiling with your hands. So they're not down here, they're not little scoops, they're not flexed out this way, they're just flat on the top there. And your shoulders is very important to keep them relaxed. It's very easy to get like this up here. But that, not such a cute look, is it? Not at all. So we're gonna bring those shoulders down, and the way that you do that is you use these muscles back here. Oh look, you can see me side view too, hopefully. <laughs> you're gonna bring down these guys and you're gonna squeeze those down and that's how you end up being able to help your shoulders stay down. All right, and it's not uh, bent elbows. All right, so that's high shoulder arms and then we're gonna do the low ones and on the bottom it's the same angle and think about having it like you're on a table and you're resting your hands on the table. That'll help you with the angle. Now, some people's wrists, you don't have that flexibility in them yet to do that kind of thing, right? It might not be something that is easy for you to do. So the way that you can um, work that is to do some wrist exercises, so the ins and outs and flex, and that kind of stuff to help you feel that, right? This is the place that I would usually say any questions. So I'm going to say, if you have any questions, just put them in the comments or you can, you know, Ask me anytime, I'm always available for questions. But this is usually where I say any questions. <laughs> so, any questions, let me know. Alright, so low shoggle arms, high shoggle arms. Now, the other thing you can do with these guys is do one of each, right? So, we have one of each, and then you can switch it to the other side, and one of each on that side, and then you can go up to down, right? Up and down. So, so far, Wonder Woman pose, remember, nice strong fingers, split weight. Shoggle arms, high and low, one of each. All right, now the next one I'm gonna show you I call the spider. <laughs> I affectionately call the spider. We're gonna keep our legs in the same position. Oh, and the other thing is too, that same um, split weight thing, we can actually do um, the split weight with the bottom too. So it can be straight in the middle, or we can go side to side, right? So you can go shoggle arms up, shoggle arms down. Each side, each side. Yeah, nice and easy, okay. So, spider, this entirely depends on how long your arm is in comparison to your head. My arm is a little bit shorter compared to my head, so I end up resting my wrist is on top of my head. The idea is you're trying to make it so that your hand is gently draped over your head. So this is why I call it the spider, because it's like this is hanging out over here, right? Now, if you have a really long arm, you could probably do more over here and get your hand to dangle like that. But if I do that, I have to end up putting my head too close to my arm. So you also want to think about, it's not just about this part right here, think about what happens over here. So I have this space between my ear and my arm, and I'm not pulling my head to my arm, I'm resting my arm on the head. Having said that, it's not like you just put all your energy and all your weight on the arm, because that's not what we're going for. Right, so this is a spider one way, and again, on the bottom you can put the Wonder Woman pose with the arms or low shoulder arm. Right, the other thing that you can do is obviously switch them. You can do it on the other side. Usually one side will feel better than the other side. That's just the way your body does things. So again, thinking about the space over here. And this whole time, still keeping my great posture, right? So, the other thing you can do, which might be a little tricky for me to show because of my hair, but you can do two hands, and on average, <laughs> this is kind of my signature, so I always have a pompio. So I'm sitting back here, but then I'm gonna put my hand back here, and you can do the two arms, right? And maybe I'll show you sideways, too, so you can see what it looks like from the side. But my, my having my right in the front is more comfortable than me doing the, the other way. I like to do it this way. So one way is gonna be more comfortable for you, and if you're just doing choreography or whatever for yourself, you can make a choice, right? So, that's spider. And, again, you can do, like I said, stuff on the bottom, <laughs> right? Or two arms, yeah. Okay, so, that's spider. Now, we've given you some arms. Now, how about I do some feet and legs? Let us look at putting our feet together. And, very simple, very simple, very simple. 
nice easy way to accent things is if you put your feet together, take your right foot and just bend your knee and really bend it and really lift up your heel, right? So my heel, it's also about the pictures thing. If I take a picture of myself and my heel is down here, that's really not so effective and not so cute. Not exciting at all, but if I lift that, it's way more exciting. I get this nice window right here from my knee bending and shows off your calf muscle a little bit more, okay? So we're doing it from the front for now because I want you to see what happens to your hips. So you can do it just straight on or you can kind of accent it like we did with the split weight and you can really sink into it and show off this hip and then what ends up happening, you have a slight counterbalance on this side and then you end up with this curve on this side, right? Let's see if you can see it better that way. You have a nice curve here because you like to show things off and then the split on that side, right? So let's try that with hands forward, um, one or one pose hands, and just sink in a little bit more. Can you see the difference between those two? Now, if you want to if you want to really emphasize it, you can slightly shift with your shoulder. But if you're just beginning with this, I would not suggest you do that because it ends up, you end up becoming like there's too much stuff going on, right? But if you're really comfortable with this one so far, bend and lift up that, like bring that shoulder a little bit forward with the elbow going backwards, just like we did when I was doing the split weight, right? Over here. And then you get this beautiful picture like this, right? And again, on the face, it's up to you. And you can turn sideways, right? <laughs> Smile! <laughs> or, or, also another way, another thing that I don't think I talked about about faces is you can kind of do that like a really smoky look, which is just a matter of, it's kind of like concentrating and looking at yourself into your eyes. I don't know if that's a weird thing to think about, but that's the way I can describe it. Because I need, I'm trying to figure out what happens to my face when I do that. And I'm actually like looking at my eyes and being, being all, uh, think about the like smokiness. <laughs> like if somebody had a really raspy voice, like how would you translate that into your face? Hmm. Right? Okay, so this is that one. Let's try it the other way too. Bend. And then you get, again, look at these beautiful lines and pictures that you're making with your hands. And if you want to turn your head, turn it up and smile. Yeah. Okay. So that's facing forward. Now, the other thing you can do too, if you want to change that just a little bit, just a little adjustment makes a huge difference. If you, t if you take your right knee and cross it even more across, this is, I think, a little bit more uh, an advanced version of this, right? You can actually cross over a little bit more and you end up getting more of this like pull and stretch from here to here. The one thing I want to make sure that you pay attention to is what your hip feels like because you don't want to push this in such a way that it makes these guys like the joints open up from each other. So if it's hard and you're not doing it right, don't do that. But I want you to think about like taking this right leg and going over just a little bit and you end up with the shoulder stretching out and you have this position this way. And this one I really like to do like a tiny bit of a lift of the chin because it really matches nicely. It's nice. It kind of contrasts the, the sinking down with the lifting up. is really effective, right? So that's if you go over. And then the other thing you can do is you can open it that way, but you can also kind of sit into it more and lean forward a little bit more and do the same thing. It gives you a tiny bit of a different look this way, right? And then you can look down a little bit. Look down. Not all the way down here, look down a little bit. And it's kind of like you're looking from under your eyebrows, if you want to do it that way, okay? When we switch out to the other side, again, we're pulling this way, lean forward a little bit, and you get that nice, strong line in the back there. Back arm, I've ended up going a little bit further back, if you take a look at that. It's not straight on anymore, it's more this way, right? Okay, so the straight ahead, straight ahead one looks like this, and we have a little bit more sinking into it, right? And then you can go all the way over and you can do an up version or a down version. Yeah? Alright, so recap. Wonder Woman, split weight, right? Shovel arms up and down, switching it, spider, spider. Okay, and then we have legs. 
We don't split weight on. Straight forward. Bend. Little bit knee over. Just a small adjustment but makes a huge impact, right? And those are the kind of things you need to think about is what I was saying about the pictures, about the lines, is it's small little things can make a huge difference. Okay. So, I would like to show you just a couple more things. I thought this was going to be a short video, but it turns out it's going to be quite, quite meaty, quite substantial. I'm going to take this position that we have from the front, and I'm actually going to do it this way, right? So from the side, you've lifted up your heel, the toe, ball, the thing, it's a kind of in the middle of your foot is the position of this particular move. There's other things that we do when we do different, different feet positions. But this knee is bent, and you've got this great line, like I said, there's the window. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this position, and we're going to use that lean forward and really emphasize this booty right here. So if I lean forward a little bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands, and this is what I would, so my dance company is a bit of burlesque, and this is what I would call the bit of burlesque pose. This is a standard pose, right? And everybody knew, I mean, everybody knew all the things, but this was the one that we called the bit of burlesque pose. We have a nice bend here. What you're doing is accenting that booty. You're leaning forward. If your back hurts, though, do not. And it's not leaning forward this way. You're taking the chest, keeping that back nice and strong and tight, and you're leaning forward, keeping this tucked in, right? And you're using the accent, you're showing off the booty. That's what we're doing. And this hand just goes right in front, and this one goes right on top. Now, it's not about like being up here or being down here. You have to adjust for whatever you have going on, <laughs> right? So, if there's a lot going on, you're not going to be as close or as tight. If it's not as much, um, there's not as much room to work with. You just make adjustments according to what your body needs. Okay? It's not about making. It's not about everybody being exactly the same. It's about you celebrating what you have, and making that um, like excellent for you. So for me, I like to do it right here. This is where it's most comfortable. One hand will be better and more comfortable than the other. All right, so we have that position. And now, you can take this one very easily. Oh, you can face forward and do it. Or you can look to the side. And I, I tend to like to have a little bit of, like, uh, cheeky sassiness, because my, like, way of performing or way of doing this kind of stuff is a combination of sassy and sultry, like, saucy and sultry and sassy and silly, actually, as you can tell. So, from here, I want you to think about what happens at the top too, not just what happens on the bottom. And you can put your hand on your hip here, just like you had it in the other thing, right? In the Wonder Woman pose, you can put this hand right here. But the thing that I like to do is I like to tilt this a little bit further back, so we get this great line. You have the line on the bottom, but then you have the line on the top too. So you end up with this guy, and this hand goes out. And you have all these beautiful pictures going on. All right, and you can do the other way too, right? So we have this one forward, one back, with the hand that's right in the front, you can put it in the back as well, and you can slightly adjust this position so that you can see that elbow make this gorgeous picture in the back right here. Hopefully this is showing right in the camera. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. And then you can also do it the other way too, if you want. All right, it all depends on what you're, what you're doing. So I think that covers it. Oh, there's one more position that I can do. And this is gonna, this is making a nice and long, a very long video. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be short, right? <laughs> so we have, I'm gonna recap again. We have the Wonder Woman pose, which is split weight. You can do either side. We have shovel arms high and low and switch them out. We have a spider. And we have two hands on the hips by then. And then we came down and we did these to the front, just straight and then slightly tilted and then crossed over and leaning, right? Crossed over and leaning. And then we did that same position and just turned it to the side and used it to lean forward a little bit so we got that nice line. And you can do your hands on the hip in the way that works for you. And then the last one we're gonna do can be a little tricky. It looks a certain way, but it's, it's kind of like an optical illusion. So don't be too attached 
to what it looks like. Think more about how to build it. So you're going to have your foot, let's start with this one. The left foot is going to be facing the front. The right foot is going to be 90 degrees to that foot. So the foot points out to the right, and this one goes to the front with the left. And what you're going to do from here is you're going to take both knees and bend both knees at the same time. So when you bend, you're going to keep all the weight still on your left foot. You basically have to think about how if you had to lift your right foot, you wouldn't have to move your body, right? So if you have any weight on that, you would have to move the rest of your body to get off it. So I want you to be on top of your left foot, all your weight on the left foot, and you're just going to bend both knees. A lot of people think that this position is about doing something on top of this foot, but it's really about the supporting leg. So you're going to bend that knee and sit on it, and this one's going to give you this beautiful picture over here. Now, again, the same thing applies about the heel, right? If your heel is down here, <laughs> that's not so cute. That is not sassy and sexy. So think about lifting that, and when you sit down, you have all your weight over here, and you can put your hands wherever you want to, right? Any of the things that we just did work with this position. So this is the sit. I call this the sit. Now, if you want to get a really good workout on your quads, <laughs> you practice this on a lot and you hold it. <laughs> Just saying, a nice side benefit, right? So that's that side. And then the other thing that you can do here, I'm not sure I should show you, but I'm going to show you a little bit and then maybe say, we can learn more of this when we do other things from the workshop, which is, is about like how to feel up and down. Like how to feel yourself up, basically, right? So we can we can work on that another one. I'm just gonna give you a little taste for it because it goes really well with this position. So we have a bent left leg and a bent right leg, and the thing that that you can think about, I like to think about, is also like being able to put your hand down there and feeling it, right? So you can put your hand somewhere on this thigh. The thing that I and again, this is a little taste of what you can work on in the next video because apparently I'm gonna make more. <laughs> is what do you see, what gets seen, right? So if you're feeling up or down, your body, and it's back here, you're not going to see that. Nobody's going to see that from the front. So this one happens on the front here, right? So you can touch that, and this way you can lift it if you want to, or just leave it. But I'm going to put it right here for now, and right here for now, and right here for now, and right here for now. And then the other side is obviously on the side, <laughs> this right foot to the front, left foot out to the side, all the way to the right foot, and you bend both knees and you sit. Oh, the one thing I forgot to say is some people will do a little bit of this on the top as well as the bottom. So, like, think about really just sitting. Like, that's why I call it the sit because it's literally like you're sitting down. Okay, and the thing that you're doing when you sit is you're accenting this guy right here. Again, don't be shy, like, don't be afraid of that. It's okay if you're a little hesitant. This is new, right? Like, it's stuff you haven't done before. But you don't need to be afraid of it because I've broken it down for you and I'm here for you any way you need. And you can get really comfortable and have a good time with it, right? So the next one, I think I'll make another video. We'll talk about getting in and out of these positions because I'm sure it'll be something that you would like to know about. So those are the poses. We sit and we have that. Yeah, be very careful not to lean over on this guy. Because I, I've seen it a lot. I've done this workshop for over, oh, with over 500 women. So I have pretty much seen everything. <laughs> and a lot of times, that's what happens, right? It becomes like the top heavy stuff on the top. Instead of just thinking about staying down here. Like, when you sit down, you should just be able to lift up this foot like this. All right. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to do one more recap just to go over everything so you can have it in all one place. We did posture. Keep it up nice and solid. Remember your energy is coming from here. It goes all the way out to your fingers, all the way out, down to your toes, into the ground even, into the earth, right? Out fingertips. And that is a very good 
time to talk about fingertips too. Your energy doesn't stop here, it goes to your hands. So your hands are involved in everything that you are doing in this. They're not just afterthoughts. I don't want them, I don't want to ever see no dead fish. Like this is a dead fish hands. Nothing's happening with the dead fish hands. And you want to keep your chin parallel to the floor. If you want to look down, you can do a slight, slight tilt. Use your eyes to make it look like you're looking down. We have poses. Oh, and you have a slight tilt. Nice core strength. Remember to keep up. And when you're walking, it's like this, right? Split weight. We have a little bit further than hip width apart. Hands on hips for Wonder Woman. We can do shifting of weight for Wonder Woman. With the hands on the hips, you can use it that way. All right. We did low shoulder arms, high shoulder arms, one of each, and trade it. You can do that on top of this lean that we just did. That's why I call the mix and match, because you can mix and match all of this good stuff. We have the spider, and you can put the hand on the hip on the bottom, hand over here. You can put both hands on the head for the spider. All right, we have that. And then we have positions with your feet. Lift up that leg, I mean lift up that foot, knee bent, accent those hips. You can do it straight on, you can do it down this way, you can lean forward a little bit. You can do any of these with these hands. Oh, sorry, hang on. That's, oh, that's another one too, is we can kind of have a wrap. I should talk about that, you can do a wrap as well. That's okay too. We won't get mad at that. <laughs> All right, and then we can go from any other one, side to side. And this one is a little bit more leaning forward of the same position, pulling the hips and the shoulders in opposite directions and having a little bit of a tilt with the elbow going backwards and it being, instead of being straight forward. Um, what's it called? Head on, we have a little bit of a, an angle. Okay, and then we have that move sideways. With You can just do it straight, that's cute. But what we do is we pop it a little bit forward, put the hands over there and you can switch hands. With the elbow going back more, you can do it the other way, same thing, elbow going back more. You want to see that elbow and that arm. Don't let it hide behind your body. Yeah. And then, you can also do, there was something that I just thought about. You can also obviously do the split weight sideways if you want. There's no reason not to. <laughs> and then we have the sit. Left, one foot is facing front, one foot is to the side, and you just sit. Bend both the knees, accent this one, hand can be on hip, can be up, can be low arms, can be this way, can be spider, can be like that. Alright, this is actually also a really good move to do from the back. <laughs> if you turn sideways and sit this way, that's a really great one to do too, right? Or with these guys. So that's that. And then the other thing is the heads. We talked about face. You can do smile. You can do sultry, smoky. You can look to the side. You can look all the way to the side. Or you can just look 45 degrees. But do it with intention and strength, right? No hesitation. This is the thing. Even if you don't really feel like you know what you're doing, just give it your all. Because it might be wrong the first time, but the intention of it is the most important part. So, just put on, maybe put on some music. I should have done that, maybe. I'll do it next time. Put on some music and have fun with your poses. Right. Have a good time with it. <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, I suppose probably more ladies. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions about any of this stuff at any time, I'm here for you. I would love to uh, teach more of this and share more of this because I feel like it can really make a difference. <laughs> and I love to do it. So I love to hear about your comments because obviously we can't be doing these things in real life at the moment. But let me know if you have any questions. You can comment below. You can email me. Find me on social media everywhere. Find your delight. You can email me findyourdelight at gmail.com. And my website is findyourdelight.com. <laughs> so pretty easy to find. And I would love to hear from you. And that is all I have for you today. Keep on dancing, have a good time. I forgot to mention one thing. If this is something that you would like to work on uh, in a private lesson, I am available by Zoom. 
and we can totally set that up and you can work on this specifically with yourself. If you want to have other people in on it, we can do group Zoom and work that out. I'm totally available for that. Anytime you just let me know, we'll set it up. Again, my name is Nikki. This, um, these moves come from the workshop called Discover You in a Bombshell and also on my website and etc. All those things, you can find more information on the Discover You in a Bombshell workshop if you'd like to know more about it. And I will be making more videos. If there's something you would like to learn, definitely let me know and I will share that. If you have questions for me, I will be happy to answer, answer them in video form. And I'm going to say bye for now. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a really good time with it. Bye. <laughs>